This is James Lynn. In 1747, he had a really noble idea. He was going to take all of these cures that had been bandied around and actually test them. So he gathered a group of uh, sailors who had scurvy, put them below deck on the HMS Salisbury, and treated them with six different remedies and watched what would happen to them. For two of those sailors, he ordered them to drink a quart of cider a day. Not bad. Two other uh, sailors drank sulfuric acid three times a day. <laughs> That's a little worse. Um, <laughs> Two more took spoonfuls of vinegar three times a day. Eh. Um, the two worst off sailors were put under a daily course of salt water. Didn't do much. Then two lucky men were administered massive doses of nutmeg. And um, if some of you may know, just, I'm just guessing here, that if you take massive doses of nutmeg, you hallucinate for like 72 hours. <laughs> So the final two were given two oranges and one lemon every day. Guess who recovered? Yes, of course, the men who were given the oranges and lemons. They showed visible good results right from the get-go. And a week later, they were so well that they were immediately put back to work. So what Lynn had just conducted, of course, was the first clinical trial. He wrote about it in this, a treatise of the scurvy. Um, but Lynn himself was never really accepted that lemons or oranges were the single cure for scurvy. Instead, he subscribed to the medical opinion at the time that scurvy had multiple causes, notably hard work, bad water, and bad diet. The treatise of scurvy actually had very little impact when it was published. Not a lot of people read it, and fewer followed it. Meanwhile, by the end of the 18th century, Scurvy had become responsible for more deaths at sea than storms, shipwrecks, combat, and all other diseases combined. Mm -hmm.